Hey, welcome to this radio channel and as we continue to talk about uh, how to, you know, get stations for newbies, um, I get a lot of comments about that, you know, and so many people say, I, I don't get anything. I don't receive any stations you receive. I don't understand. So the part one, if you haven't seen it, is already online and it talks about noise and how to find out the noise level in your home and where it's more quiet to listen to. The second part is important but it's not that complex. People tend to make it way way too complicated than it is actually really. It's the antenna. Your, your radio came with a telescopic antenna, that little metal antenna that extends and if you have a quiet spot, I can tell you that that little whip antenna on the radio is pretty amazing. Today's radios are very sensitive and for the most part you don't need much more than that to listen to most stations. Of course, this will pick up from the average to the strong stations. And if you have, you know, a pretty quiet environment, you'll be surprised what you can hear with this. Uh, it is amazing. But sometimes you need a little more. It does happen that you need a little more to get these, you know, weaker stations. One thing that you got to understand is that in North America, um, I'd say that, um, you know, 80% of all the stations on shortwave now stopped transmitting to North America. Which means that signals in North America for most stations tend to be much weaker than they used to be because they not they do not transmit towards here. Shortwave stations typically will transmit in a direction. And in the good old days, in the 80s when I started, pretty much all stations had a service to North America and that meant that the signals to North America and the frequencies they used also helped made real big strong signals and you just typically could hear it with even a little portable receiver and telescopic. But there are fewer and fewer stations that broadcast towards North America. But it doesn't mean you can't hear them. It just means that you'll have to understand that these signals are weaker than they were before because they're not transmitted towards here but to another target area. So, for example, a lot of stations will transmit from Europe towards Africa. But it doesn't mean we can't hear them. We still hear them. I still hear Vatican radio that transmits from the Vatican state towards Africa. Uh, I still hear the BBC from Ascension Islands that broadcasts towards West Africa, for example. The signal does propagate to here, but weaker than if they would broadcast towards us. There are still some stations broadcasting to North America. China Radio, uh, Radio Romania, uh, Radio Tirana. Uh, you'll have Voice of Vietnam using relays. And uh, Cuba. And, you know, there, there are some strong stations out there. There's a lot of North Americans also that uh, come in pretty strong. But... Most of these little radios very often come with a little reel-in antenna or a clip-on antenna. Some have like this one. This is a reel-in antenna that you just plug into a little antenna jack on the side. Some come with a little antenna that has a clip and basically you clip it to the antenna itself. But for reasons uh, you know, other types of reasons. Maybe you want something that is uh, longer. Maybe you want something that is just plain, uh, you know, different, depending. Maybe you didn't have any uh, little wire antenna with your radio, and that happens very often that you cannot receive, you don't have it, that type of antenna with the radio itself. So, in these cases, what you can do is simply check and buy some uh, copper wire. Any type of little wire, electrical wire. Now people ask me all the time, oh, what type of wire should I use? Look, a wire is a wire. It doesn't matter. 
just get yourself some electrical wire of some sort. Uh, copper wire, you know, as long as it's made of metal, it's okay. And what you can do with that wire is clip it to the antenna itself. Uh, you can buy these little alligator clips and you can of course clip with the alligator to on the antenna itself that works fine a lot of people ask me oh uh, you I've seen that you clip the uh, the wire to the antenna instead of using the antenna jack does it work of course it works it works very well but there are some advantages to using the uh, clip or the jack of antenna that sometimes comes with the um, with the radio itself because it's meant for longer antennas. What you can also do is simply get yourself, you know, don't, don't have to buy the clips if you want. You can just take a wire like this and, you know, I just took out the insulation and just put it over the antenna like this. And as you put the wire over the antenna, it makes contact, electrical contact with it. Uh, I've even seen some cases where when you have a very long antenna wire, you can not only, uh, you know, not just clip it, sometimes even with the insulation, just do some turns around it. And by induction, it's actually gonna still increase the signal level. Now, we talked about noise in the first uh, episode, and you got to remember that that wire, that extra antenna that you're adding, also adds extra noise. Once again, you'll have to put that extra wire and see what places you put that wire where it's the least noisy, and listen for noise, and look at your indication for noise. Like I said, you have to look at, if you have a signal strength indicator, look at it. Check out the noise. When you add a wire, you'll see that it increases the noise. So you'll try to find a spot where that wire in your home, you can put it inside if you have some quiet enough space. But you know what? Maybe you won't have enough quiet space for that. Then you'll have to find a way to put an outdoor antenna. Now, once again, an outdoor antenna doesn't mean you have to put a tower on your roof. It could be a simple piece of wire hanging from a window. It might be enough to have better reception. It might be uh, simply that you put 20, 30 feet of wire that you hung on a tree and you bring it to your window and it could be better. So you have to experiment with that. You can also see the difference. If you want to see the noise level from your home to another spot, try going to a park. Go somewhere where you're at least 30, 40 feet away from homes and look at the difference in noise level from there, from your home. And you'll see how much noise you get. So, all sorts of little wire antennas, any types of reel-in. You can buy actually these little reel-in antennas for like 10 bucks on eBay. Uh, this is a Sanjian one that came with a radio, but uh, there are some that are sold actually like this. So that's the second part, knowing that you can actually increase the signal levels by using a wire clipped to the antenna. Once again, for the strong signals, just the telescopic antennas more than enough most of the time. For the weaker signals, it's actually going to help a lot. And once again, you'll have to find a spot where there's not a lot of noise. I, you're probably thinking, well, this guy's talking too much about noise. Well, I have to talk about noise and I have to really, really make it uh, that you understand that what prevents you from listening and what probably prevents pretty much everyone that's telling me I don't hear anything is you just don't understand you got too much noise so the signals are washed out in the noise if you enjoy my videos want to subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when the videos are online if you have any comments questions about this video or any radio related item why not share it with me and uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos helps us on the ratings on YouTube and uh, check for part 3 
where we're going to check and understand where we have to listen for the signals because that's also very important.